Welcome to 2024 and baka iniisip mo pagpasok mo sa paborito mong PC shop, what hardware should I be buying this year? And that's what we're going to find out in this video. Do you know what's also useful and quite affordable? Getting rid of that pesky watermark by obtaining an original and discounted Windows product key from our sponsor CD Key Offer. Step 1. Click on the link in our video description corresponding to the version of Windows you want. I'll select Windows 10 Pro. Step 2. Make an account with CD Key Offer. Step 3. Add to cart. Use our discount code HS20 and you'll receive a 25% discount. There are a variety of payment options available. Click pay now and we will finish the rest of these instructions at the latter part of our video. So stay tuned. Starting with the up-and-comer, Intel is scheduled to release their next GPU in 2024 titled Battle Mage. Their first re-entry into the graphics card scene was Alchemist in 2022 and it had a rocky start but things have smoothed out. Reportedly, there are two variants of Battle Mage with the more high-end one releasing sometime in the first half of 2024. Not too many details have leaked about Battle Mage, so hard to plan for it. But if it's anything like the Mature Alchemist, then you're probably going to get a very well-priced card for 1080p gaming. Hopefully, Intel can sidestep the learning curve that they had with Alchemist. NVIDIA officially announced a couple of days ago their long-rumored Super additions to the 40 series. These are the 4080 Super, SRP at around $1,000, 4070 Ti Super, SRP at around $800, and the 4070 Super at around $600. Historically, the Super line has delivered good performance gains over their non-Super kin. Prices look good, at least relative to the usual NVIDIA prices. Even those cards though are still 40 series Lovelace cards. When are the 50 series Blackwell cards coming out? No one knows but the rumor is that the 5090 is actually ready to go and could launch by the end of 2024. But whether it will launch depends on AMD. If AMD's cards continue to do well in 2024, NVIDIA might want to regain some of the market share buzz by launching the 5090. Because nothing gets PC guys more excited than really overpowered hardware at a really high price tag. So the 5090 is NVIDIA's trump card, but will they need to use it in 2024 against AMD? We'll have to see. An AMD resurgence in graphics cards is possible as the rumored 8000 RDNA 4 cards are slated to be released this year. Although the news on those cards is that they are targeted towards the mid-level or entry level of the market. So tiklop na si AMD kay Nvidia in terms of the most high performance cards. Kahit ngayon naman, yung pinakamabilis ni AMD, the 7900XTX, is only comparable to Nvidia's 4080. It doesn't come anywhere near close to the king of the hill, Nvidia's 4090. But AMD looks to continue that strategy of targeting the middle of the market as these new 8000 cards are supposed to be faster than the 7900XT and at a cheaper price. Kung ganun, mas mahal pa rin sila compared to what we're used to for entry-level graphics cards in the Philippines. Pero sulit na sulit yun for mid-level rigs. And for sure, they'll have 8000 series GPUs that will scale down as well. So the current 7000 series are competitive for their price and we're looking to get more of that with the upcoming 8000 series. Adding to the AMD GPU news is the newly announced 7600 XT. So in addition to the 7000 line, it has 16GB of VRAM. For around $350, so a performance 1080p card which can stretch to 2K gaming. So it's squarely aimed at the entry level. This continues AMD's strategy of trying to claw market share at the entry and mid-range markets, surrendering for now the high end to Team Green. The 7600 XT will be available very soon by the third week of January. A category where AMD is arguably the king is CPUs and the AM4 platform Ryzen's 1000 to 5000 were excellent CPUs. Price to performance, value for money, Ryzen was synonymous with that. Plus, AMD hit another home run with their X3D architecture, basically adding more cash to some of their CPUs. And that was super important to boost the performance of programs which like using single core rather than multi-core. And you care about that because that includes games. There was a big bump in performance for games with the X3D CPUs. 
Although AMD hit a stumbling block when it tried to move to a new platform, AM5 with Ryzen 7000. It's not that the performance was lacking per se, but it was really expensive. You had to move up to a motherboard which supported DDR5. It was a whole new ecosystem. So the adoption of AM5 has been a bit slower. Looking into 2024, AMD is scheduled to release its new Ryzen 8000 series, Granite Ridge. But other than that, we don't know anything about it. Hindi pa nga confirmed na AM5 siya, pero siguro naman. So with very little information to go on, it's hard to give guidance if you should wait for the Ryzen 8000. What we do know is that even in 2024, the AM4 platform, Ryzen 5000, is still an excellent choice for a lot of people and even for performance, gamer enthusiasts, and people who need it for hardcore work. As we were finishing up this video, AMD had some interesting news out of CES. There are new 5000 CPUs coming by the end of January and these are the 5700, 5700X3D, and the 5500GT, and the 5600GT. AM4 is still a very capable platform and AMD recognizes that. The 5600GT in particular is interesting as it's slightly faster than the 5600G which already is a good value CPU and a customer favorite at the shop. We'll also be getting our first taste of the Ryzen 8000 apparently with AM5 APUs launching end of January. These are the 8500G, 8600G, and 8700G. There's also the 8300G, but those are only for OEM builds. Let's finish the installation guide of your Windows product key. After you've finished paying, you'll find your Windows product key within your account profile. Go to Windows Activator, copy and paste that key in there, and you are good to go. Remember to use our discount code HS20 to get that 25% discount. Also shrouded in mystery are Intel CPU plans for 2024. Although we are getting the lower end variants of the 14th gen early this year. And that makes sense since the current king of the hill, the 4900K was already released last year. The 14th gen though was just a very minor update to the 13th gen CPUs and so it didn't excite customers or reviewers. There were small incremental gains at best. So if you're an enthusiast, you're looking towards the 15th gen of Intel Arrow Lake, but there's very little information on it. Supposedly, the smart money is it comes out late 2024, although there is some speculation it could be moved back to 2025 if Intel encounters manufacturing problems. We don't know much about the performance of Arrow Lake. We don't even know what socket it uses. So it's hard to make plans for Intel CPUs based on the scant information we know so far about their 2024 roadmap. In general, for the CPU space, AMD sort of stumbled with the Ryzen 7000 and the move to AM5. Hopefully, their new 8000 series will smooth out any problems and make it more cost-efficient for customers to get back on the AMD bandwagon. For Intel, 14th gen was forgettable, so hopefully the 15th gen will be the shot in the arm needed to excite people again about Team Blue. Summing it up for the GPU market, there are some interesting choices, especially for the mid-range market. If you're in that category and you can wait, I would definitely wait for around mid-year para makita mo kung kamusta ba yung Intel Battle Mage at mga bagong AMD GPUs. For performance, you will always have NVIDIA and at least those are available towards the start of the year. Historically, the Super Series has offered a substantial increase in performance over the non-Super variants. So the performance is there if you're willing to pay the NVIDIA price. On the CPU side, it's really difficult to give any concrete advice because of the scarcity of information on both the Team Red and Team Blue side. What I can't say for certain is that the current offerings of CPUs, whether that's the Ryzen 5000, AM4 platform, or the Intel 13th or 14th gen are still a very viable option for 2024 for a lot of different kind of builds. If you want a PC right now, if the need is urgent right now, then any of those categories of CPUs will still serve you very well in this year and the years to come. Happy New Year to everyone and I'm looking forward to playing around with the new models when they reach the shop. Thanks for watching.
Paminsan, may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron kami. Full service PC store ang hardware sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent cable management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up-to-date yung inventory dun. Kung in-stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days, magkita tayo sa shop.